All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Infinite Fusion Nuzlocke. Unfortunately, I did screw up the audio for this episode, um, but enough happened. I do want to show you what exactly uh, went on. Uh, the first thing, though, that we are going to do, I did go into my game. I did edit. Uh, the game files, we have some rare candies. I am going to be leveling up six of my Pokemon. Uh, my goal is to level them up uh, to level 25, which matches with Gnaw, who is the lowest level on my team. As you can see, we have 999 rare candies at this point. We are not going to be uh, running out of those for a while. Uh, I do begin to level everyone up, and Bubbles is actually the first one that is going to have an evolution here. Um, we do have a few evolutions. Uh, this one, I believe, is the gold bad evolution that we're seeing here on screen. It is. Uh, immediately following that, obviously, Bubbles is going to be evolving to a Houndoom as well. The gold bat face is actually kind of funny. Uh... It, it looks like this on a lot of Pokemon that Golpet is a part of. Uh, we also have Fwip evolving. Fwip is going to turn into... Uh, well, it's Charmander part is going to turn into a Charmeleon. Uh, we also have Wabagong evolving, which... I... I didn't notice anything change. It was kind of weird. It was, like, just the same face. And that's all... Yeah, it... It, it evolved into Wabion, and nothing else changed. And then, obviously, we have Vargas evolving as well. It is also getting the uh, Golbat treatment with the uh, mouth that is screaming. Um, I did have to think really hard about who to switch out. I was contemplating switching out Spike. Um, Spike is the only one that knows a grass move, though, despite the fact that we have a good number of grass-type Pokemon on the team. So, as you can see, the only, uh, change I did make was I had, uh, Doobles get added to the team. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, Doobles was the Murkrow Pikachu fusion we had. It knows Static. It knows Thunder Wave. It's going to make hatching Pokemon a lot easier and it's a really cool typing uh we do swing by the pokemart pick up a bunch of dna splicers and i do make my way back to celadon city um that is where we do need to be right now i head over i take a look at the team rocket uh pokemon that are for sale i am allowing myself one uh purchase from them but unfortunately uh as much as uh, Shedsore tempted me, uh, none of these are really what I am looking for or what I'm missing. Uh, I do wander around a little bit, but then I do make my way down towards where the gym normally is. And I talk with Erica again, and it turns out that the event that played last episode in the Pokemon Tower after we beat our rival is what triggers uh, the next piece of the story to happen. Uh, so we are going to be going down into the sewers with Erica. Now, because we're with Erica, everything is a double battle. She has a Weeping Ella as her lead, a Weeping Bell Tangela. Uh, there's a Coughing Fusion, Eradicate. It is a, a dupes uh, situation, so there's nothing here that we can catch. Um... But I was, I was interested to see kind of like what Weeping Ella was going to bring to the table. And it seems like it's doing pretty well in this, this battle. Uh, it's going to change moving forward in a little bit. But at least for the moment, uh, clearing this fight, not a big problem. But it, it was this battle that made me remember, wait, everything is going to be a doubles battle. This could be really, really scary. Um, we do look around. I am going to obviously pick up all the items that we find. We get an Ultra Ball. And I'm trying to see if there is some way that I can get out of doing this as a doubles battle. There is not. Uh, so we do have to go into this doubles battle against uh, Team Rocket. 
Uh, taking a look at what they are sending out, they do only have one Pokemon apiece, so it's not the biggest deal. They do have a coughing. Uh, the bigger problem is the Volting. Uh, it is electric poison. And I know I need to switch out Blitz, and as I'm looking around, like, I could send in Doubles. I'm looking through the rest of my team. Poison and electric kind of counter everything else I have. That's kind of a really bad typing for me, so I do end up switching in doubles. I'm not going to have anything that I can really use to hit it, but it's not going to have a whole lot to hit me with, and I did make the right decision uh, with the Electro Ball coming out. If I had sent in someone like Glitter, they would have just gotten immediately axed. Uh, that being said, I don't have anything really that I can do to hurt it. Um... But between uh, Weeping Ella and Doubles, they do manage to take down the Coughing. You can see, uh, skipping ahead to the end of the battle here, uh, Glue Cute is now out, uh, Erica's second Pokemon. Doubles came really close to dying in this fight, which I did not expect. It did more damage than I thought it was going to, uh, but we did manage to get through it safely, which I was very thankful for. And now that the battle is done, I need to start looking into what I can get for encounters here. Because this is a new area. Um, just making sure that we are healed, though. Uh, grabbing a super repel, and then we run into our first battle, which is two Grimers. So, as long as nothing goes wrong, we are going to be getting a Grimer as our first encounter in the area. There is always the chance, uh, though, that Erica's Pokemon could kill uh, whichever one we leave alive. Uh, we do get the burn onto the first Grimer. Um, damage is just kind of going out, and I'm kind of looking like Blitz is doing okay. I'm scared of the Minimize. The Minimize could legitimately make it a problem. Um, I do end up switching into Dubles. I do want to get a Paralysis on it, if we're able. Uh, there's no guarantee, but the other Grimer is pretty much dead. Uh, with the burn, I don't think the burn is going to kill it this turn. I think it lives one more turn. But the other Grimer is being a problem. Because with the Minimize it's set up, I miss Thunder Wave. Uh, it's not the biggest deal. It is only a Grimer. But it is still scary. And Sludge is doing a decent chunk to Doobles. Um, after missing another Thunder Wave, though, I... I can't keep going, especially with another Minimize coming down. I need to, uh, catch this thing. Um, so we are going to go in, we're going to just throw a ball. Doobles is at risk of dying if we don't catch it. I really don't want that to happen. I just added Doobles to the team. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, that's not uh, an issue. We do catch the Grimer, which makes our first encounter in the area. Uh, Grimer, we're going to have to find something to fuse it to, which uh, the opportunity comes up very quickly thereafter as we encounter another Grimer and a Weezing. So Weezing is what we are going to be going for here. And this was a very, very scary fight. Um, Weezing is a notoriously difficult Pokemon. The Grimer is going down, no problem. The Grimer is quickly getting, getting beaten down. Unfortunately, Sludge does poison Blitz. I do feel it is going to be safer to switch Blitz out. And again, I'm in that situation of, I don't have anything that I can really send out against this. I do end up sending out Glitter, though. Um, my plan, switching in Glitter, being to, uh, fake out the, the, uh, Weezing. Thankfully, the Grimer gets taken out, so it is now just a 1v2. I do need to be careful. <clears throat> Weeping Ella isn't doing a whole lot of damage to Weezing, but I can't let it die. Um, if I'm gonna fuse this with the Grimer, which could honestly be a really cool fusion... Um, I can't let it die. I do get the, the fake out. Uh, it, it is, uh, gonna flinch that turn. 
And I do switch into Doobles. i going to Thunder Wave it. It is an evolved Pokemon. It's going to be a little bit harder to, uh, to catch. Um, I do get the Thunder Wave down. Unfortunately, I didn't pay enough attention to the damage. Uh, it does use Sludge and Doobles Falls. And I'm kind of just sitting there unsure of what to do because I was really looking forward to using Doobles and I really didn't expect it to die. I just wasn't paying enough attention to the damage. I do switch into Glitter. I do fake it out once more to get it down into the yellow. Uh, and at this point, it's it's looking pretty weak. I am going to throw the Ultra Ball because um, it is an evolved Pokemon. It's just going to have the highest uh, chance to catch the Pokemon, and that's uh, going to be a encounter to replace the one we just lost, potentially. Um, unfortunately, it does not catch. It almost dies, and I, as soon as I saw Self-Destruct came out, I thought Glitter was dead. I legitimately did not think that Glitter was going to survive that attack. Uh, it did, but it does mean that we lost the uh, Weezing. I do go back to the Pokemon Center trying to figure out who to put in. I don't really have a lot of Pokemon that are going to be good in the sewers. Uh, I was thinking about Plib, um, but I do end up... I was also thinking about Wabagong, because uh, it does have a, a decent move set now. Uh, very interesting uh, build with the two Pokemon. I do end up going, though, with Boon. Uh, the Poison type is nice. The Rock type is nice. It's going to learn a, a good spread of Rock, Ground, Poison type moves. It does have Sturdy. There's a little bit of safety there. And I do go ahead. I do level up Boon up to 25 like the other Pokemon I leveled up earlier. So we do get the evolution into the Golbat. Uh, which is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> the extended mouth on the Geodude portion looks amazing. Um, and it does evolve then one more time into Graveler, which unfortunately doesn't look quite as good. Uh, they really did just kind of staple the wings and the face uh, onto the Pokemon. But, folks, that is a quick wrap-up of what happened that episode. If you did enjoy... Uh, consider leaving a like, subscribing. Uh, if you know anything about the game that I don't, leave it in the comments. I do apologize again for what happened with this episode. I'm going to make sure it does not happen again, because it has happened a couple of times to me recently. Uh, so I do apologize for that. But folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.